Let's have a look at some Harry Potter magic capsules and see what's inside. Hello witches, wizards and greggles and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to be opening five of these new You Me Harry Potter capsules and I'm going to be showing you what's inside, the magic of them and I'll be giving you my honest opinion. I always like to be honest with the products that I review so we're going to be opening up all five of these capsules and seeing the magic that's inside. Of course I'm going to be giving you the good bits, the bad bits and what I think. So let's get started and have a little look at these. As we can see here this is how the capsules come and they've just got some writing on the front and the back and they take on a kind of anime style which you can see just here 10 to collect so they're going to be very collectible there are rarer ones there are more common characters so there's obviously going to be a lot of trading swapping and you can hopefully try and get the whole series now as i said i've been sent five of these so hopefully i get a range of different characters that i can show you what's really interesting about these is they actually have three different compartments and there's little clues as to which character you have in two of the compartments and then in the third you have these little packages that you open and each part is something slightly different relating to each character and then finally you get to unpackage the character that you have there are a range of characters there's obviously ron harry hermione there's also Draco, Luna, and a few other favourite characters as well. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm rather excited to have a little look. So I'm going to be showing you step by step of what happens when you open one of these. And we can try and find out what character I've got together. So, as I showed you before, this is how the packages come. With the little plastic wrap on the top. And you can just pull this little bit here to open them. And the capsules are designed to have three different compartments. So you start with number one, move on to number two and then you finally get your character in number three. So starting with number one, we have the thermal crests, and these look nice and colorful, and you just press your finger onto this side where the symbol is, and then it should change color. Here we have a blue crest, so that's clue number one. Moving on to compartment two, we have this magic paper, which we dip into the water, and it reveals a spell. So here we have Reparo. And then we move on to the third capsule. This has a little guide to all the characters that you can get. So we know it's a Ravenclaw, so it's either going to be Cho Chang or Luna Lovegood. To help give us some more clues, we also have these little owl post packages, which are printed very, very nicely with these cute little owl designs. And they're paper, so they will be easily recycled. And we open this up, and we've got some Spectra Specs. I think we know who these belong to. We then go on to open the other packages which are inside and here we have a tiny quibbler and a wand and the last little package is a baby thestral i love the detail of this and lastly it's the character is it luna here is luna there we go so there we have her unpacked as well and she's got some nice details bright blue eyes in the anime style as well there she is holding her wand, and we can just try and prop her up. She is a bit wonky. It's nice that Luna comes with some of her iconic props. I'm not really sure why she got Reparo. Maybe Episki would have been better, but you can put her away very easily as shown here. So let's move on to the second one. Again, we're just gonna pull this piece of plastic. A close up of the crests, which I love the detail of. Starting with the thermal crest we have green this time which narrows it down once again and then the spell is sectum sempra now i think i might already know who this could be but it's between draco malfoy and severus snape so in the first packet we have a tiny little potion advanced potion making and a snake this is the one the character has and I'm pretty sure it's our potion master, but here we go. And I think with that hair, it is most definitely Severus Snape. So here he is with his wand, which did fit in okay. It's a bit long, he looks a bit, a bit scary, but there he is. And in my other packets, I got Ginny, who unfortunately, despite everyone trying, does not stand up, as you see. She did come with a really cool pygmy puff though, 
Tom Riddle's diary, and then I'm not really sure why, but she was given a love potion, which seemed a bit weird. I then got Harry, who was pretty good. He came with his Hogwarts acceptance letter, a little tiny Hedwig, and a really cool printed Hogwarts trunk. And then lastly, I got Draco Malfoy, but he came in pieces, which was a bit scary. I found him to be a bit of a disappointment though. His props were a bit basic, although he did have this cool hand of glory. So now that you've seen inside the magic of the Yumi Toys Harry Potter capsules, I thought I would just round up and give you my final thoughts on them. These are not something I would personally buy. I think it goes with the sort of chibi designs that Audi do. Personally, not my cup of tea, as we say here in Britain, but I do have a couple of problems with the product, which I think is fair. I was gifted five of these. It's not something I would spend my own money on, so it's only fair that I give you an honest opinion of what I think of them. I just don't think they are the quality that they should be for the price. Amazon had these at $12.99, and I know in America the price is roughly $20 and you can get a jewel pack. But for me, I just think that's quite a bit overpriced for what you get. Three of the figures that I've got don't really stand up or don't stand up properly. And one of those was Draco, whose head was smashed when I actually opened him. Of course, that could be completely down to delivery, bad luck, bad batch, who knows. But I don't think it's good that out of five products that I was sent for free, I'm not paying my own money for them, that three of them aren't fit for purpose. I think one of the biggest problems I do have with these is the amount of packaging that goes with them. So if I just show you how much packaging came with the two that I unwrapped in the video, which is all of this, the paper bags can be recycled quite easily, but the outer packaging can't. And I think, especially in the modern world, companies need to make products that do have recyclable elements. I think it just kind of goes with the quality of the product as well, which as I said before, I really don't think is that good. I was really happy with the outside in these little cases that the figures actually come in they are molded so well the color is perfect and the design on the front really is great but i just think getting one of these with every single figure is a bit excessive there's not really much you would do with them i suppose you could carry them around with you and put all the bits into each one but apart from that you only really need one on your shelf i wonder if they should have sold maybe a pack that came with one of these and then individual figures in the bag. This isn't something that can be easily recycled. It's got metal parts in it. I just think it's quite excessive. In terms of the figures themselves, I mean, they are quite well made, I think. They're not too bad, but obviously I had the misfortune of Draco coming with his head off, which is a bit scary. He's kind of turned into nearly headless Nick here. Well, he is headless. I had issues with Draco, obviously. Ginny didn't stand up. Me and my family couldn't get her legs to work. Also, Luna is pointing downwards. Three out of five figures that I've got, that's not really a good ratio or percentage of product that is good. So I think they might need to rethink their process of production. I will say that a lot of the extra bits that you get in the figures, like Draco got a cauldron and his little hand of glory, are actually really well made and really well painted. It's just the figures that let them down. Some of the items that you get are a bit strange. So obviously you have Severus Snape here and it's good that he has advanced potion making because here's the half-blood prince. A little potion, I can get on board with that as well. And it's just really odd that he's got like a pet snake. Doesn't really go with Snape, I don't think. Just quite lazy and not really thought out. I guess with Harry Potter being such a big phenomenon, so many people want to jump on board and do collabs and bring out new product because they know a it's going to sell and b there is a huge audience that would want it but i feel for this particular product it's just kind of jumping on the bandwagon and not really producing a quality product just a quantity of product i think it's quite unfortunate that they haven't been as good as i was hoping because i was actually quite excited for them even though their design isn't something that I'd personally go for. However, I just think they are really overpriced and I wouldn't recommend them. But I know a lot of people will absolutely love them. They will love the design, they'll love all the little components and they will love putting them on their shelves and collecting them all. But personally, I just don't think they are worth the money. I do really like the interactive aspects of the product and I think these little finger temperature crests uh, to reveal what house your character's in is a fantastic idea. I really love the idea of the dipping in water to get a spell, but I don't really see how it's relevant to the product. It doesn't really give you any clues as to what character is inside. Maybe they just wanted to include different spells within the product, but it just seems kind of pointless. Another problem that I have with this style of product is it is a mystery, and I guess to some people they will love collecting them, but you do end up with lots of the same product, you're going to end up with so many of the capsules that you're not going to be able to do anything with 
and I am scared that most of these will end up just in the bin. As I said, this isn't something that I'm particularly happy with, it's not something that I'll be keeping in my collection, but hopefully you have some better experiences than I do, and if you are interested, then definitely check out Yumi Toys, because they're selling these all over the world. So that's the end of this video, and as usual, I'm going to ask you to give this a big thumbs up and comment below which of the figures was your favourite, and hopefully it's not Draco nearly headless or headless. I'm going to ask you to, of course, subscribe to my channel, because there are new videos coming out every weekend. For more of my previous videos, you can check here or here. And I will be seeing you all very soon. Until then, stay safe, stay magical, and don't let the muggles get you down. Bye.